guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the Vikings Garage. And today, today is a very special day. Why? Because today I'm off. And what am I gonna do on my day off? I'm gonna drive a lot for no apparent reason. But why would you do that, you might ask? Well, because today we're gonna test out the Volkswagen TDI. We're gonna see how many miles to the gallon can we actually get or should I say squeeze out of this car. I think some of you are gonna be amazed. So uh, don't go anywhere, stick around. I'm gonna try to make this one as much fun as possible because we are going somewhere, aren't we? So as you can see guys, we're still at the gas station and we're gonna set the trip to zero and we'll see how it goes. Yes, try to be smart, stuck behind a smart car, of course. And that's a pink beetle. <laughs> Here's a cool uh, portion of our trip. Hey, we should put the windows down, huh? So, you might ask, uh, so where are we going? Well, it's funny you asked me that question because we, we're going to Harry's You Pull It. As you guys I'm sure know by now, I kind of, I've been spending way too much time on those places. Uh, I don't know. I love shopping around for things that I don't really need. What can I say? Am I the only one though that does this? Um, today we'll be going to Hazeltown in Pennsburg. We might, depending on the weather, because uh, today is actually snowing, if you can believe that. Uh, we might even go to Allentown, so we'll see. Some really cool cars in there. I don't want to ruin it too much, but let's just say that uh, lately, apparently, a lot of Audi S models have been making it uh, to the junkyard. Don't know why, but I'm eager to find out. But anyways, I'm not gonna bore you guys with a speeded up timeline of me driving, blah, blah, blah. Next time you guys see me, we will be at the junkyard. That's pretty cool. Well, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Definitely looks like a really old Dodge pickup. Well, here's a yellow 1973 Porsche 914. This thing looks sad. Wow, it's mostly gone. Pretty simple. There's your engine. Covered in you know what. And whatever this is supposed to be. Here's a 1981 Volkswagen Rabbit. This thing is already stripped on the inside. Let's see what kind of engine these things have. Woo, it says that transmission. That's tiny. It's nice to see cars like this still here. <laughs> What's that doing over here? Well, here's our Mark IV Golf. That looks interesting. I don't think that's part of the engine. Yeah, let's discover this together. <laughs> Red mirrors. This one's a 92. It's got a GTI steering wheel. That's neat. This thing is trash, man. Anybody that needs interior parts on these cars is gonna be screwed because most of these get left with their doors open. And this is what you get. But it seems like the tail lights could have been salvaged. There's a Lexus with a little surprise under the hood. Oh, or whatever's left of it. Somebody was in here. Oh, uh, now this, this I'm very excited about. Check out this thing. You guys recognize that? Yes, sir. This does have a V8. It is a Toyota product. 
But look at this, what a shame. This used to be a very nice car. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? So I mean, they leave the doors open. That's a problem, man. It's definitely a problem. But yeah, there she is. Very reliable 4.3 liter Toyota engine. You cannot kill these things. The 3 UZFE. Beast. Yeah, I like these. Now I remember these. This is a 93 Del Sol. Pretty cool top. This thing is clearly in the right place now. Already missing the head. This just goes to show you, you never know what you're gonna find in here. So this is a Jeep, a gate backwards, serving as a bumper for a Mercury Tracer with, look at this interior. How sick is this? Sexy. There's a funny one. She had a station wagon. Look at these wheels. <laughs> and look at the nerve on this guy. I mean, can you handle this? And then he has the balls to put struggling <laughs> on the dash. Oh man. Oh, there's your first S. S8. This one, it's got a transmission and a starter in the back. This thing is jacked up. There's a little badge there. Yeah, this thing, S seen better days, man. This 10 cylinder is, uh, you know, just hanging out, sort of, kind of, not really sure what's happening here. But wait, the S6 looks even better. <laughs> Holy smokes. Toasty. That's nice. So much for that. Yeah. A lot of people don't believe that these cars, they get uh, 50 miles to the gallon. So we'll see how many gallons it's going to take right now. Because I did 250 miles. So we'll see. You did five from here, right? No, no. I live in uh, Bud Lake. Yeah, yeah, but I, I went to Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah, yeah. I went to Allentown, uh, Pittsburgh, and uh, Hazeltown. Yeah, very far. So we'll see. Woo. I don't know, man. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there you have it, guys. We're still here at the gas station. You see the trip there, 215. So you got a calculator, you let me know. Well, if this isn't a nice treat. A little too slim for my taste, but what do you guys think of that? I love the note though. Not abandoned, please don't tell love that's pretty cool it's got the gti recaro seats that's really cool i'm sure somebody in the video is going to tell me what what am i looking at here wow this guy's got texas plates what the hell is he doing in a jersey that's weird definitely do not like those tail lights that's weird they're not my uh, cup of tea very nice nonetheless texas plates wow that's unusual. Hi right, guys, and in closing, I hope you enjoyed the video. Yes, 50s. That's what this car gets. I know some of you might question it, this and that, but I tell you what. Check out the link in the description below. And I am taking some of the credit, but I cannot take all of it. Dr. Dan's biodiesel check him out on youtube trust me everything that he teaches you in there i've done it is in a way what i'm also trying to do for you guys with other avenues i'm not an expert on tdis but that gentleman sure is 
other than what I learned in this channel is the usual stuff that you can also do if you have a gasoline car. Make sure your tire pressure is correct or slightly more infl inflated. Um, you didn't hear that from me. Uh, what else? Don't carry around a lot of weight in the car. The less weight you gotta drag, the better. What else? Um, drive uh, with fuel economy in, in mind. You know, don't be racing or getting the RPMs all crazy. Drive nice and smooth, smooth transitions. I don't think I've ever went over 3000 RPM uh, on this test. Well, mind you, score red lines of 4500, as I'm sure you guys know. But yeah, smooth transitions. I do coast down the hills, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, a lot of the times on the highway, I will get behind the tractor trailer if he's moving fast enough. But yeah, things like that. These are great cars. And I would love to know more tips and what do you guys do to get your car to do the gas mileage that it does. And most importantly, what are you getting on your TDI? Or even if you don't have a TDI, you have a gasoline car and you're getting more than 55. I would love to hear it. Till next time, guys, enjoy your cars and I will see you on the next one.